Now let's move on to MCQ question 38. The diagram shows six males and six female birds of the same species. Which role describe the type of variation shown in these birds? Okay, so when we talk about types of variation, everybody. We will have continuous and discontinuous variation. Okay, and explain and as explained in question 37, continuous variation is a range of characteristics. with no distinct phenotype okay whereas this continuous variation okay basically is discrete phenotypes okay is essentially not within a spectrum there is no range to it okay so essentially for continuous variation there are things like height okay and for this continuous variation there is eye color there's also hair color etc Okay, let's move on to the question itself. Patterns of spots on the wings of the female birds, okay, they are essentially considered continuous variation, not discontinuous. Why? Because you can have different number of spots. Okay, this one is talking about the different number. Okay, so a female can have two, three, four, five, six. You can have as many as you want. Okay, so you have a range of the number of spots. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next category. Presence or absence of ring around the eye. It's a discontinuous variation. This is because it is a discrete phenotype. Okay, it is very distinct. It's either you have it or you don't have it. It's a yes or a no. Okay, because of it is discontinuous okay and the last category size of males and females is continuous okay why is it continuous as because size can vary okay the males may be super large the females may be very small to small to medium and things like that okay as a result of it size is a continuous variation okay so the option will be option a